Yesterday everybody was really lazy because we had a really big party at the night before when we played in Augsburg, a very big festival. And yeah, it was a very long night or if you would say just a very short night. <laughs> so everybody was just happy to get some sleep. And of course now today we said okay, very bad idea because the weather was so fine. Everybody knows that Milan is a very beautiful city. But uh, thank God we can say that we have um, already played several times in Milan, so we know a lot of the city and have been here very often. And of course, all the big cathedral and going a little bit shopping and stuff like that. Uh, usually it's always a big fight, so when we start pre um, preparing for the new tour and we play all the new songs, of course, and a lot of old songs in the rehearsal room, um, there are five band members in the, in the band, so five different opinions about what songs we should play and what not, and then it's long discussion and arguing and stuff like that, and sometimes I throw a bass guitar after one of the others. No, I don't, of course not. But <laughs> yeah, and of course, um, yeah, a best of whatever, whatever you want to call it, of course. Uh, in my personal opinion, it was uh, important to have at least one song from all the albums. Expect for the very old ones like Savage Poetry and Kingdom of Madness. But up from the Van Gogh Opera, I really wanted to have at least one song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually would would say if Toby's talking too much, we should only play maybe three songs and let him talk the rest of the show. <laughs> um, to be honest, not really. I don't think so. Of course, sometimes. We try out some stuff and then, because sometimes we are not really sure in the very beginning of the tour uh, if we play this song or that song or something and then maybe we decide after the second or after the third concert. But um, there was never anything like a disappointment so that we say, okay, the audience is not reacting at all or that we maybe realize that we cannot play the song or something like that. No, that never happened. Um, I think, to be honest, there's only best memories about that because there was no disappointment at all in, in no, no direction. I think it was great because just on the first evening um, the Scorpions uh, said hello in our backstage room personally and said hey, it's great that you're here on tour and if you have any questions or problems you can talk to us or to our tour manager. And just on the second evening they um, invited us to have some wine together at the hotel. And so we became really cool friends and that's really very amazing. I mean, this is one of the biggest rock bands ever and especially the biggest German rock band and they are together for more than 30 years and I think, yeah, so we have a, a long time to go like that with that guy because we are only, you know, 14 years in the same lineup so we have another 16 years to go or maybe 26 or 36, you know. Um, yeah, so the whole crew, everybody was so fine and um, of course for that reason we had this cool idea to go on tour together with James on this tour and uh, somehow you really forget that they are the mighty scorpions because we are just good friends and everything is so cool being together. No, um, it never happens like that um, because um, yeah, two years or four years ago everybody was asking if it's a conscious um, decision to do it like Rocket Ride or Tinnitus Santos, but things like that just happen because every two years, of course, you get new influences, new ideas, you want to try out some stuff here and there. And to be honest, I totally agree with you because I like the new album so much more than Rocket Ride and Tinnitus Santos. Um, yeah, it sounds more natural again, and of course, we have more those um, 70 influences, and I really like also the Hammond organ and the guitars this time sound really, really great. and. I think on Tinnitus Santos and Rocket Ride have too many influence, like some pop things here and there that I personally didn't like. But as I said before, with the set list, you have five band members, five different opinions about many things, and I personally are really, uh, I am really happy about the new one. Uh, too many influences as always, of course, as everybody might know that Toby is the main songwriter and he has the, the basic ideas, and of course then we go. Um, together in the rehearsal room, we are really old-fashioned, so we don't 
send uh, ideas to each other by email or mp3 stuff so we really old-fashioned going to rehearsal room lock ourselves inside and working on that stuff and playing it again and again and so everybody just yeah plays what he thinks is kind of natural if it's the bass guitar or the, the, the drums and the guitars and stuff like that and Toby most of the time plays a little bit on the keyboard and um, so everybody has his own influences so I always say it's something like uh, in between the purple and Slayer and, <laughs> and you can mix it all up and so that's I think of course um, if Toby would write the songs just all alone it would come out different than if everybody has influences here and there but still you would say that Toby has the main melodies and the songwriting and the lyrics and all that stuff. 2 out of 7 means if you have, for example, some uh, yeah, very well-known uh, popular rock magazines like the Rock Hard or Metal Hammer in Germany, they have, Metal Hammer has the, the rating 7 points as maximum, and so he's just joking around that they might only give 2 points, and of course this is only an example, so it's nothing against any magazine and nothing against the Metal Hammer, but he says um, the 7, 2 out of 7 sounded for the melody line, it sounded best, so he could also have said, that 2 out of 10, what he does in the verses, or 2 out of 2, or 7 out of 7, whatever. And yeah, I think he's just joking because um, some journalists, uh, sometimes they take themselves too serious and writing so many things, what they don't like and what they think we should have making better and stuff like that. And, and on the other hand, some of the real big bands, um, I mean the real big, I even even bigger than Edgar, of course. I mean, <laughs> um, so there are some bands who, in my, or in our personal opinion, uh, release some really weak albums nowadays compared to what they did 20 years ago. Without even talking about names now, but uh, some of those bands, if they, uh, the journalists, they just maybe they never have heard it, but they get 10 of 10 or 12 of 12 or something like that. And of course. And moreover, some journalists still complaining that Ed Guy is not a real heavy metal band because we are too funny and uh, too much humor, and so this doesn't fit into heavy metal at all. And so, um, just for this, you get maybe three points less <laughs> just for the music. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the next singles. Oh, at the moment, there is nothing planned like that because the album is out for a longer time, so it does not make uh, does not make sense any. To release any more single, of course, um, we have that very limited edition of that vinyl version of um, Robin Hood, and of course, this this video came out so funny and so cool with that um, very well-known TV comedian. So he's um, in Germany; he's a real well-known comedian on television. Of course, in the other countries, maybe people don't get it, but that guy who is playing Maid Marian. And yeah, he's a heavy metal fan as well, so um, you would not realize when you see him on television, but we knew about this fact and so we just decided to ask him if he wants to be our main Marion for the Robin Hood video. Yeah, and a little bit later on we're gonna release a, a, a video clip for two, the, 2 out of 7, but this is not so a special clip, it's just more you can watch us playing the song in the studio thing and that's also very interesting but I would not really call it to release another single. I think we're just gonna spread this on the internet a little bit later and that's it. Hey people out there, this is Eddie of Ad Guy and you are watching to Radio Day Daniel. Stay tuned.